Hey, what up, Internet people? Uh, this is Matthew Montgomery. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to get started in writing C. Um, right now, I'm going to uh, DigiPen Institute of Technology, which is actually the number one school for video game design. I am doing a degree in RTIS. Also, just a little disclaimer, um, people who want to go to DigiPen, uh, it is actually really hard. I'm a freshman. I just finished my first semester. Um, also, there is no, basically, any girls, like, out of a class of 300, already about 40 people dropped out, and uh, about five girls. So far, the girls haven't dropped out, but apparently one or two may drop out, or less than that. Apparently, girls stay in longer than us guys. So, to get you started with your C project, and this is very beginner and acceptance, uh, but it really goes down into detail what I've learned. In that, I'm going to show you how to program. So, first off, let's get started. Alrighty, hello. Um, for our simple program, we're going to be using GCC and Notepad++. You could also use another one. Uh, you can also use the regular note, Notepad and Windows, or you can go into Windows Command Prompt and type in Edit, which is another editor for it. Um, I preferably like Notepad because it spoils the heck out of you. Alrighty, well, first off, since we're using GCC and it is free, you can find it online. Just download it, burn it to an ISO disk, and install it. It's very simple. Um, we're going to use number include, and we're going to say stdio.h. This stdio.h right here, that is um, the library for printf and some other good functions that you will need to use later on. Um, there's also string.h, which is string uh, management. You could copy, paste, whatever, your strings, and you got your file input output. Um, so right now we're going to use int main void. People who forget the void are amateurs because what this, what, if you leave it blank, it's going to be, it's going to default to a zero, which takes up extra time. Uh, so, in order to cut down on time, might as well just put it in the void. Alrighty, so, since it is an integer, and this is a function, and to make sure it includes everything, you have to make sure you have your brackets. Um, so, let's start with uh, the return. This will return saying, hey, I am finished to the computer. Um, without it, you will get an error. I'll tell you why later on. Um, so, to start off, we're going to use printf. Alrighty, so print is something out. We're just going to say hello world. And this should print out hello world. Alrighty, so let's go back down a little bit more. Okay, so here we go. Well, since you already saw my last one. Alrighty. What this does, GCC starts everything up, big dash O. Uh, actually, GC GCC, um, it says what, what compiler, big dash O, uh, dash, um, o not a zero, it's not even close to a zero, it's a dash O, um, starts it up, dash W all, capitalize W, don't make it lowercase or you'll get an error. Uh, we'll find all the warnings. Not just like uh, the major ones, it'll do the little ones, which are actually pretty important. W dash error will turn all the warnings into an error. And SI and pandemic are optional. They're not necessary though. Uh, so I'm not going to go into great detail about them. Uh, then you specify what the file is, main.c. You say the output, dash little o, right? Um, and then you say main.exe or whatever you else you want to call it. So when we do this, it'll give me clean main.exe and it prints out hello world right here. Alrighty, so now going back up to our uh, function up here, let's do a little bit of something interesting. Alright, we're going to say there are actually four different types, actually more than four, but I'm only going to go into the four that we need, which is int, okay, that specifies it's an integer. Integer means it's either one, two, three, four, five. It's not a 1.5. There is no desk decimal, but with a float, there is, and a double, there is, but um, the difference between a float and a double uh, varies greatly. Um, double has a length, I want to say, of 8, and a float is a length of 6, 
So it all depends. So if you have a float of one million, you may uh, like not a one million, but ten million. You'll probably need a double instead of a float because it'll truncate the, uh, the other zero at the end. Okay. So to start off, we're going to say int i, which I am not supposed to be doing this, but it pops into my head first. Normally, uh, companies will use int i for for loops and for loops only. Um, I understand in Java they you, you can declare uh, whatever you're using inside a for loop, but in C that is a no no. Int i. Now with printf you can say hello world and then say um, you are percent i. All right, percent i says it's an integer. Okay. In order to print out a percent, you have to do percent percent. Um, percent i says force integer. Percent d is a double. Percent f is a float. Percent c is a character, and percent s is a string. So right now we're using percent i. Also, there's also a character which is only holds two bits of information, uh, either a zero or a one. Um, actually, yeah, it's a two, two string long. In other words, it's only for characters, one string long. In order to print out a string, you have to set up an array. I'll go over that later on. So, percent %i. And make sure you include this, or it won't print it out. Percent %i will actually go, okay, I got an integer. I need to find it. So, it goes over to here and finds uh, your uh, integer. Okay? Um, it goes in order. So, if it's this one first, it will do this one. If you had another percent, it will go to the next one. Um, so you, you, you just can't say percent i and then say i and that's it. You can do, I mean, percent i, percent i, and then just have one i. It'll give you an error. You can't do that. So no, no. All right. So what this will do, it'll say, hello world, you are zero. Well, better. Okay. So going back down to here, let's say, let's go back to our error warnings. Nothing happened. So let's say, hello world. Oh, wait, my bad. Hello world, you are zero. Alrighty, that works awesomely well. But let's say if you want to see some kind of warning. Well, let's see what happens if we say percent %d instead. Hopefully, it'll give me a warning. If not, nope, it doesn't do that. Sometimes it catch, uh, it all depends on the compiler if it catches it or not. So let's say main.exe. Alright, hello world, you are zero. Alright, so we didn't get garbage there. Uh, even though I did specify it was a double. Actually, you know what? I was wrong. Uh, percent %d is not a double. That's another case for integer. I'm sorry. Um, and you use percent %d for scanf also. So let's try f instead. So that specifies it's a float. Error. Yes, percent %f expects type double, but argument two has type int. That is the warning. CCC1 says it's a warning, so that's what it tells me. So let's take out the making everything else into errors. All right, warnings means it'll still compile. Errors means it won't. So now that we have main.exe compiled, we print it out. So we got 0.0000. .0000. Alright, so that works to a degree. Um, sometimes it won't work like that. Sometimes it will give you garbage. Um, everything has a different kind of function. Since it's zero, this is zero, zero, zero. But if you want to do some other different logic, it will print out different stuff. Uh, G GCC does the zero, zero, zero. Uh, Microsoft uh, compiles. There's also one other thing that you need to know. Backslash and right here. This right here specifies that it's a new line. Okay, if um, you don't have that in there, what it'll do is that it'll say, hey, um, now we have this space right here instead of going right here. So that way you can space out your lines or say a new line. So let's take away that F and do D or I is exactly the same thing and print F. Let's make this funny. You suck. You suck monkey nuts. Alright, let's see how that works out right there. Okay, 
So, main.exe. Hello world, you are zero, you suck monkey mess. That's with the backslash n. All right, now if we take away the backslash n, what will happen is that it'll print on exactly the same line right after the other one. So, hello world, you are zero, you suck monkey nuts. Alright, so backslash in is actually really important. Um, if you want to learn more, just go ahead and click over more. I'll be uploading a lot more later on. This also helps me out for studying. Uh, so, have fun programming. It's actually very interesting, and good luck.